We present Crocodile, an efficient and versatile framework for multi-contact optimal control. Crocodile is developed for model predictive control applications. It can also generate highly dynamic maneuvers, such as jumping in quadruped and cumulant robots. The scope of the work can be described in two folds. First, an efficient and versatile library for multi-contact optimal control. Our method it optimizes the whole body motion, which enables a wider range of passes, such as the astronaut reorientation that we can see in the video. It uses sparse analytical derivative to boost the computation time needed for model predictive control application. It also handles geometrical system, which removes the singularity produced by an Euler orientation description. On the other hand, we propose a novel feasibility-driven DVP algorithm. With our method, we can generate highly dynamic maneuvers, which is not possible in classical DVP algorithms. It has a greater globalization strategy when you compare with the DP algorithms, indeed. It also handles infeasible war and starting, which is important for the deployment of this method in real hardware. And the success of our method is due to the fact that it resembles numerically a multiple shooting approach. Our work is focused on the following optimal control problem. First, we want to compute a control sequence of commands in the form of stored inputs. Second, we wish to compute a desired trajectory of the state, where the state is described with the configuration point Q and its velocity. Both quantities lies in a Lie manifold. We derive contact and impulse dynamics and their analytical derivative. We grant out our method using the Gauss principle of least square, where we encode holonomic constraint for the contacts. The remaining inequality constraint regarding the unilateral contact condition and the friction cone are encoded as a state and control admissible set. Additionally, here we define uh, joint limits and torque limits of the system. Our library is quite flexible we can define or specialize model for each node K, such as different costs, different dynamics, different admissible sets. Our proposed method. First of all, uh, we need to acknowledge the limitation of the classical DDP. In the figure, you can see the level set described by the cost function in blue. Additionally, there is a black curve that describe the equality constraint defined by the dynamics of the system. As you can see, both methods compute the same search direction, and this can be verified by analyzing the KKT problem of both algorithms. However, in a nonlinear programming algorithm such as the SQP method here, we often see a merit function that accepts some constraint violation. On the other hand, the DDP algorithm moves along the black curve, and this is due to a nonlinear rollout of the dynamics. But the consequence of trying this direction is that we often need to require to accept a smaller step length, and this is due to the nonlinearity of the system. And in conclusion, it produces a much worse. Uh, convergence rate when you compare with nonlinear programming algorithm such as this SQP. Our feasibility driven algorithm is answering this question by handling the feasibility of the problem. The key aspect of our method is first a bad word pass that handles infeasible guesses, where again the feasible guesses are described as gaps in the dynamics or deflect as commonly described in multiple shooting methods. When we include the gaps dynamic into the Hamiltonian, we can derive a new set of uh, Riccati equation, as you can see here. Additionally, it's important to keep infeasibility during the forward pass or trying different directions. For that, we have analyzed the KKT problem for a multiple shooting algorithm, and we have noted that uh, there is a convergence rate of the gap defined by one minus alpha 
where alpha is the set length. And this indeed is particularly important for highly dynamic maneuvers as described before. In the plot, you can see different examples that we have analyzed in our paper. And in particular, the jumping maneuvers are very important here due to the fact that our solver needs to keep the gaps open to solve this problem. And we inspect indeed the problem of the DDP algorithm in this slide. As you can see here, DDP struggles to find a solution to this problem with the iCAD human robot. And this is due to the fact that the DDP is iterating around an unstable trajectory. On the other hand, the infeasibility that keeps the FDDP allows the, the solvers to iterate around a better guess. When we compare the computation time of the FDDP, we can say that they are almost the same. Um, so in, in the plot, we have analyzed different uh, uh, computation time for different tasks in quadrupeds and cumulative robots, where we can see that it's possible to achieve at least 100 hertz for model predictive control. And we could also uh, reach 800 hertz, surprisingly. The convergence rate of our solver is also good. For the problem shown in the video, we solve it in around 12 to 30 iterations, independently of the complexity of the motion. And this is due to the fact of our feasibility. Indeed, we could generate different maneuvers or locomotion behavior by predefining a contact phase, such as this quadrupedal motion or humanoid walk. And it's also possible to define jump behaviors and even a front fleet maneuver. In future work, we are working to deploy our method in a model predictive control fashion for different platforms. Additionally, we are improving our solving by handling inequality constraints. And finally, but not least, we are developing a contact phase planner that can handle a rich environment conditions. With this, we conclude our presentation. Thank you.